How's it going guys? My name's Graham and welcome to Ruin of the Reckless. I must be on some kind of roguelike kick. I've been playing a lot of Isaac on the channel and I just started Dead Cells. Now I'm playing Ruin of the Reckless. From what I've seen of the game, it kind of looks like Nuclear Throne. It's like procedurally generated battle areas, but then with melee instead of ranged attacks. So that seems really exciting. Hello little one, I've been expecting your arrival. Well, don't just lie there. I'm a very important spirit, you know? Oh, well, I suppose you can't be blamed. You are alive, and now you're dead. Anyway, it's time for your existential crisis. All humans do it, so get it done already. Just slowly waiting. Is this is he reviving me with lightning bolts? Done? Feel better? Good. Let's move on. Aha, my apologies. I have not even introduced myself yet. I am the one they call the Whisperer. He's even, I, I accidentally am shouting a lot, considering he's called the Whisperer. And this place? This, my friend, is your new prison. This is the ruin of the reckless. I don't want a prison. I have far too cool of a haircut and too far gravity-defying of a crown to be imprisoned. No point wasting your time here, little one. There's only one way out of this place, and that's to climb to the top and get your wish granted. That's right, a wish. If you get to the top, that is. You look like you'd like to try. Give me a moment. What is, is he, like a red panda? What is this guy? I can't really, can't really figure out what creature he is. Oh man, he's got like crazy, crazy eyes going on there. The lower gateway will take you to an associate of mine, and he will show you everything you need to start climbing. The upper gateway will take you to the first floor of the tower. Be warned, the spirits in this place will show you no mercy. For now, check in at the lower gateway to get your bearings. So I might as well do like a quick little tutorial so I don't totally get annihilated. Until next time, spirit. I accidentally had keyboard settings on. Now I, now I have it properly switched to uh, the gamepad so I can try and play with that instead. I figured out how to dash. Now I just gotta learn how to do some other attacks. Polliver's Learning Annex. Hi there, newbie. My name is Polliver. Oh, he's a cute little penguin, I think. He's like a penguin knight. He's adorable. I'm a big fan of Polliver. Welcome to the Ruin of the Reckless. Come here. I want to talk to you. Yeah, of course, buddy. I want to talk to you, too. <laughs> now, I know you're probably scared. Not at all. You're adorable. How could I be scared? But don't be. Spirits like us can thrive in this place. You may already be dead, but right now it's time to look alive. So shape up and listen to me. The GUI is in the top left, that big number is your health, the rest shows you which gear and items you have, check it out. Uh, pretty straightforward stuff. If you're ever confused, try and look up the GUI, and we'll go open the gate. Oh, he can teleport? M teach me how to teleport, Polliver, that seems kick-ass. How did I get over here so fast? Oh, you poor naive thing. No, I'm, I'm asking. I'm genuinely curious. By the way, we're going to be best buds, so I got you a present. It's right over there inside that treasure chest. Open it already. You don't have to ask me twice, Polliver. I'm already I'm already on my way over. Open, open, open. There, it took a few tries. Potion of spell book charges. Who could have imagined a potion of spell charges? What are you waiting for? Pick it up. Now you gotta drink the potion, bro. Check out the GUI. Your consume button is gyrating. Right on. Pretty straightforward. You've got a spell power for days now. Use it to cast your fireball spell. Holy shit. That was a bit more powerful than I was expecting. Holy dang, that was scary. I bet a gifted spirit like you could charge up their spells. It's a good thing you're a natural because soon you'll face a real threat. Meet me in the next room for combat training. Physical weapons project spiritual forms here. Try channeling the power in that little dagger of yours. Uh, okay. Just like that. Again, again. Well done. What great slashing. Let's move on to boots. Boots affect the way that you dash. Let's try it. Dash, dash, dash. Pretty good. You're a prodigy. It took me weeks to learn how to dash like that. Well, it looks like you haven't done much dashing lately. Sorry, Polliver, but you're looking a little bit pudgy these days. Ah, a pack of skull smishmishers. Didn't really get to see what they were called, but I certainly fucked them up. Yay, we did it! Amazing performance. Way to go! You and me, we gotta stick together, I think. Meet me in the next room for some special training. Ooh, I hope it's just kind of rolling around cuddling a little bit. That's all I really want to do, Polliver. This room has a giant hole, so I guess that's where the lesson ends. 
Just kidding. I actually know a way to get across. You can consume ability orbs to power up. Eat this power orb and a special kind of ability orb to gain new skills that will let you cross the pit. The spirit tether. Oh, there we go. Now I got it. Nice going, kid. But don't get cocky. It's time for the real test of skill. Use the spirit tether to cross the pit and meet me in the next room. Uh, not a problem, man. Holy shit, that was pretty fucking cool. I I kind of was testing how it would work there. That I, I didn't think I would have so much control over where I aim it and everything. It just looks pretty sweet too. That's a pretty fucking cool power up. Do I get to I get to hang on to that for a little while at least? Shit, I want to start fighting things. This uh, the range of abilities and everything I have in this game is shaping up to be pretty fucking sweet. That was pretty good, bud. You might even be as powerful as I am someday. All right, I'm done with you for now. Take these cards. I have no idea how cards come into this at all. I, I haven't really looked into what the gameplay is of this fully. You found a chaos card. Maverick. Harder floors. Equipped in lobbies. Oh, so I know that there's some... Um, it's a roguelike game, but there are some forms of progression, and so maybe these cards help with that. Chaos card. Holiday. Easier floors. And let's see what this last guy is. Uh, the soldier, gear, blasting bracer, and fireball spellbook. Maybe I, maybe I'll just get to start with those if I equip that. I took the liberty of equipping soldier. That will give you some slightly better gear to start, but you can always change it later. One other thing: before you can truly learn my lessons, you must forget everything you know. Take this. Sounds easy enough, buddy. Good. Now drink it. Let's just go totally unconscious here. Oh, I lost my spirit tether. That thing was cool. Perfect, you're a blank slate again. Just take this key and open up the elevator. What's the point of running a tutorial if you're just going to make me forget everything at the end of it anyways? This probably isn't what you had in mind when you left home, but it's time to start your adventure. Good luck, Stargrove. Is that... I'm Stargrove? It's not what I had in mind when I left home because I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm dead now. I wasn't really anticipating dying. So that, that is quite different from what I was expecting, yes. That's annoying that his text thing was in front of the elevator. I almost forgot it was there for a second. Oh shit, I'm timed. I, I, I'm gonna have to make, make uh, do with things quickly here. No, not a lot of time to get your bearings. You just gotta start fighting. I'm gonna try and stick largely melee. Well, I'd, I don't really wanna fuck with those guys. I'll get, I'll get a nice spell blast in for that. Ooh, gotta make sure I'm collecting things. Nope, that was a bomb. Maybe should have guessed. But I, I assume I have like mana or something, right? I don't want to use up all of my my spell charges. See, there's a one next to... Yeah, now I've used up all my spell charges. So I presumably need to find a, a potion or something to reinvigorate that. To make sure I have more spell charges for later on. I see you sneaking around the corner there. I, I got you though. I leveled up, but I don't know, uh, maybe it's like Nuclear Throne, when I progress to the next level, then I'll make use of that. Oh, damn. I, uh, have not found a key, so I suppose I need to explore a little. Oh, there it is. It was just kind of hovering around. I didn't realize I would need a key every single time. I thought it might open. I'm really in a Nuclear Throne kind of mindset. Ah! Wasn't expecting a, a Guardian. Another Dagger Wielder. Hmm, I found a new card, though. You found Chaos card Stalewart. No knockback when taking damage. No, I think I'll stick with the one that gives me items. I wanna, I wanna hang on to those. I wonder if each level will have its own timer, or if my 11 seconds will, like, carry over, or add on to a new timer. Oh, it looks like it's gonna start me up at 100 every time. Is that, was that not a potion or something that looked like it was carrying a potion? Oh shit. I guess I gotta I actually fight these little kitty raccoons. They kind of look like little raccoons, don't they? Uh, I, I was I was gonna blast my spell in there because I'd be able to get so much splash damage. But it seems like I can knock some into other ones and that causes damage. So if I line them up just right, I could really fuck up these little, these little coons, these little critters. Is that, what the fuck did they call them in Trailer Park Boys? Ah, I'm not gonna remember. Trash? Trash cats or something like that? That's what I have in mind right now, but... 
It's not not exact. I'm I'm very close to dying. I was not entirely expecting that. Did I not even have to like kill someone to get the key? The key was just hiding behind that box over there. Is this? Oh, I here I am attacking these things. I should be collecting them. Shit. Now now I now I'm dead. So I lost that. I I was attacking those and I didn't stop and realize that they were the power balls that I was supposed to be collecting. One of them looked like a potion to me, so I was trying to kill it to get the potion from inside of it. I guess that was the wrong approach. Ah! Didn't expect quite so much stuff to spawn at once there. Oh, cool, like a scimitar or something. Yes, I want that. I want the I want the rapier. And I what what was what was my old weapon? What did I the blast bracer. So I switched I switched out now? Uh, yeah, yeah, this is, this is my new standard weapon. So, I guess with the bracer I was kind of just punching, I was just a punching guy. Now, now I got this cool sword to stab with. So I think I'm gonna hang on to that. And, oh, a spirit tether! But, do I only get like one power thing at a time? So now, now I have this, but now I won't be able to get this? L let's see, let's see. Uh, I can't carry more orbs until I get stronger. Uh, okay, I was curious. There had to be some kind of limiting factor going on in the game. I just wasn't sure which. Uh, learn a new spell or book of Shockwave. So if I grab the scroll, maybe I can only use it once. Scroll of Shockwave. And so that's gone. But now if I pick up the book... Oh, book of fire. Oh, okay, I see. So I, I just get to choose between them. Uh, I'm gonna hang on and I'll try Shockwave for a little while. Might as well try it out. Get get used to it. But I wonder if I would have found the scroll if it would have uh, added added to my book, like given me an extra charge of the book, or if it would have counted as a separate thing in my inventory, you know? And so I think I got... Oh, there's one guy hiding back here. There we go. Now, now I can ascend. Let's get out of here. Whoa, I took too long to clear the floor. Oh shit, I didn't actually get to hear what he said, but it looked like something was starting to get shot at me. It didn't seem like it was a good thing. It didn't seem like something I want. Chunky mess. Ah! Oh no, no, no! Oh, good thing. Chunky mess. Weapons have a chance to explode monsters. Holy shit. And also, apparently learning a power-up or whatever knocks everything away from you, so that's incredibly helpful. Shit. Alright, the exploding monsters thing isn't helping me out a ton. I, oh, I was just saying I took some really careless damage, and now I got this stupid, dirty little raccoon chewing me apart. Oh, wow, he's vicious. Look at his teeth and his crazy red eyes and stuff. Back to the lobby I go. This little guy's kicking me out of here. I thought we were just, I thought we were just getting along, buddy. This game does seem pretty cool so far, but I also am juggling a lot of different series on the channel right now, and so I think what my plan is is to stick this aside as a one-off for the time being and then if someone else from the channel wants to get in on the co-op mode it that would be pretty cool because I, I think it would be I just I just want to give the co-op a try and it seems like it could be a lot of fun running around together blasting spells and kicking enemies and stuff like that so I'd rather I'd rather hold out until that's a, a possibility rather than committing too too hard to the the game by itself here so I'll play for a little while longer, see how, how well I can do on this current run. I've already taken more damage than I would like, but... Oh shit, and, and I just got all these fucking little raccoon dogs coming up at me again. Uh, le Potion of Gusts. Let's, let's give that a try. Oh, it just immediately starts sending gusts out everywhere. I actually want to pick that up. Don't, don't blow it away from me. And Power Orb Gust. So now, now I actually just get to know Gust, which is pretty cool. Oh, didn't mean to use that. I meant to do this. I meant to throw my little tornadoes around. And auxiliary attack. So when I swing my sword, maybe it will throw extra... It, it's like throwing more than one sword? I actually can't tell... I can't tell how that one's behaving. It doesn't... It's not readily apparent. Hmm, sword fire pet affinity. I I can't carry that until I get stronger, but I wanted a, I wanted a fire pet. That sounded cool if I understood that correctly. 
Uh, let me, let's check a couple tornadoes at some people here. Oh, or well, I guess I'll just die. I guess that was the other thing. I was focusing too hard on trying to use my spell properly that I just got killed instead. Alright, well, I haven't made a lot of progression. I do want to give this another run. I, I don't want to leave it too terribly. I think I get, got a little bit more in me than that. Let's check out alchemy. Consumables are better. All right, cool. I'll, I'll go with that. And potion of random effects. Did that just happen to uh, to come along with that? And agility. Ah, nuts. I, I kind of wish maybe I had taken agility, but better consumables could be good. And let's try random effects. Gained XP based on current floor. Oh, so I just I just got like a little bit of an XP boost, but probably not much considering that I'm only on the first floor. I I haven't. Uh, haven't done really anything with leveling up yet, I, but I, you know, it'll it's going to affect the number of skills I can hold, the number of power ups I can I can hold at once, and everything. I haven't got a good sense of what some of the more permanent progression stuff is. There's those cards, but I'm not sure if that's the only thing that uh, relates to the progression in the game. It seems like there's probably more to it than that. I forgot that I don't have to charge up my my spell. I can I can just use it really quickly. If I switch this out, oh nice! I can recharge my spell book by just picking up a different one. So that's that's pretty convenient actually. Super boots. Uh, yeah, let's switch those out. Now I now I presumably can just dash a little bit further. That'll be good to have. I really like that ascending sound effect. That sounds pretty cool. I want to make it to the third floor where apparently I fight some kind of bird, some sort of bird mini boss maybe. Oh shit! Let's get a let's run away from those guys for a second. Give ourselves a little bit of space, perhaps. I I haven't had to spend any gold. Maybe if I make it to the third floor, then there's some way I can cash in my gold, deposit it in the bank, pay for some sort of uh, upgrade or something, invest in real estate, probably. That would make sense. That would fit right right into the theme of this game is the ability to buy and sell property as some build in some kind of property management sim right into Ruin of the Reckless. You looking for a new ruin? Man, do I got a ruin for you. I got I got all kinds of ruins. Little bungalow ruins, big castle ruins. It's you your pick really. We could we could get you some anything you want. Oh, I wanted to pick that up. It's it looked like a new spell that I didn't have. All right, floor cleared. I hmm, I've leveled up. Maybe I can grab Zenny shot. I use Zenny as a weapon. I'm not confident how that how that works because I don't I don't seem to have anything. Oh no, here here it is. Sorry, I can do that. Oh shit, I threw all my money. <laughs> that was I didn't like that. I don't really want. I don't think I want that skill. Do I get all of it back? I had 72, I threw 20 bucks, and nope, I lose money. I it better do a shitload of damage or something, but that's terrible. I don't want that. Oh, come on! I took too long to clear the floor? It's becoming unstable? Oh god, okay. I, I was like, I unlocked the elevator, I'm trying to leave! What, what, what the hell's going on? Oh good, okay, now I do get to see how some of this progression stuff works. Ace of Blades, 800 zenny. Nope, I threw all of it everywhere, so I can't really afford any of that. Aha, you're new. Welcome to your ruin. I mean, the ruin. Now that I know you're not a poser, I'll leave the blue door in the lobby unlocked for you, and I'll give you some seed cash if you come in that way. Oh, well thanks, man. That's very kind of you. Oh, I can actually, I can afford some of these uh, spell books and, and weapons and stuff. They're not quite as expensive. But Ace of Blades, that's not happening anytime soon. Return to Tower. That's handy. That's there, there's some sort of semi progression I got going on here. I did I did manage to unlock something there. And and I'm still I thought maybe I had interrupted my progress there, but now I am am back here on floor three again. Uh, I guess maybe that's the bird in the in the tower map is representing that shop for some some reason that I couldn't be can't be certain of. I want to find something to throw my zenny at. I want to throw it at this big guy and see if it does good damage. Oh, get out of here, you little raccoon. I didn't want to throw it at you. Fuck, what a stupid, terrible item. I don't want it. Iron pet totem. I do want that, though. Don't kill me, don't kill me. I do want to pick that up. 
An invincible iron pet will find you soon. Oh, I want him now. Where is he now? I don't want to wait for him. What if I die? <laughs> iron pet affinity. Ah, yes. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. There we go. Now I got a nice little iron pet to run around with me and, and bash things up. A cool, colorful little cubie. He seems pretty strong, pretty useful. I, I think he might, like, stick around, actually, too. I was wondering if he would, uh, be a very temporary... Like, if you would stick around for just a minute or so, but I think he's sticking around, so... ah, oh, He hopped right on top of me. I guess my iron pet couldn't couldn't save me from that one. Or start from the first shop. Alright, so there you can see some of the progression elements. This game seems pretty cool so far. I love Nuclear Throne. I like that this game seems like a slightly slower-paced Nuclear Throne, but with more skills and more melee focus, which is something that I've always personally wanted. It's like an overhead style nuclear throne kind of procedurally generated game but with melee that's not really something that I've seen or if I have seen it I haven't seen it done particularly well and so this seems like it could fill that niche. This seems like actually a very cool game uh, but I do want to wait and see if someone from the channel wants to get in and do like a two-player co-op action because I think that could be a lot of fun. Very chaotic, very difficult so I'm looking forward to that. I'll provide links if we end up doing it Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.